بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته to all we all الحمد لله love to have the wudu of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم with all the fadail the virtues that he صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned to us الحمد لله I'm here in this lovely weather for a change in Manchester United Kingdom الحمد لله and we are here to try as much as possible to get to the the way he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa alihi wa sallam showed us how to make wudu through our ulama and mashayikh. So first he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to have this amount of water that here in this mud, al-mud al-nabawi ala sahibi salatu wa sallam with the isnad through our mashayikh to Today is Alhamdulillah and to be given to the last day. It's around 650 millimeters. So we can tell inshallah here. Bismillah. Bismillah. And how can we try to manage at home to make our wudu? with just this amount of water. Try not to use any extra. Just respect the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we say, الوضوء طاعة فلا تخلطه بمعصية معصية is use extra unneeded water. In particular, if you do from the tap. Of course, I used to do with this in my house with this small so Alhamdulillah is almost one third here and this is full here, right? To make it easy, so I can put my, my right hand inside of this jack here. So I put it here, Bismillah. And complete it by all means. The more we are Sunnah Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the more barakat. You can tell I'm facing this way because here is the qibla, so it's not just because of the direction of sun. So I'm facing the qibla setting, and inshallah, thumma inshallah, you will see how this amount of water from these uh, 650 millimeters will be enough, but even more than enough. Of course, we start with washing hands first before we make a wudu. Yeah, and before even we put it in the jug to take water. So it will be on my left, my left hand side. And put the miswak, I've seen some of our mashaykh and elders to put it here between the toes. And then start with uh, taking up your sleeve from the left then the right when you when you put off or remove something you remove the left first but when you put it up you put it from the right it's all way of sunnah when you even at this point with your hands with the full hands so the left first get ready for wudu this is my home thobe so as you can tell it's no imama no taqiyya, no tropi. Alhamdulillah, thob at home. Here. Then wash hands first. On my right hand, wash hands. You can see slowly, slowly. Because it is clean. So I just make sure at tadliq. So all the skin being touched by the water. Then, alhamdulillah, because I don't need, I don't need more. This is not part of the, of the wudu, by the way. But this is to make sure that my hands are clean. So I'm taking some water from the wudu water. Then now we start the wudu. Say, Bismillah wa alhamdulillah. In the very beginning. And put it on the right side here now. Here, 
and then with my right hand like this, at image of, as I said, some of my grandchildren, um, image of a spoon, do this, and And spit on the left side with the miswak start from the right side up and down up and down uh, supposedly the more sunna is to be as that big so double of this yeah but i shared with someone which is fine still usable that's with the miswak and the fada'il of using miswak in wudu, we know that even Jibreel alayhi salam, he said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, keep using the miswak. And he sallallahu alayhi salam all the time, or as needed, of course, with the miswak. So try by all means to use the miswak, and of course, we will look at the fada'il later. Now we start the wudu after this miswak. Bismillah walhamdulillah. Make sure we move in any. Yeah, up to here, the rest, one, second time, Bismillah. Is it allowed to speak while you make wudu? If, if it is needed, yes. Third time, look how to make the wudu. The ba this is the back up here, and then make sure all the fingers being yeah, rub and wash well three times. And then we can combine, which is good, the mouth and the nose. Look. With the left hand. Only a little bit because it is Ramadan. So don't try to, to rinse too much, and get the water inside your mouth. Inside your throat, not inside your mouth. Yes, fine. This was one. Now, second. Third. Even if it's clean, I say this is the best to clean yourself. Mouth, nose, and hands. If you come from outside before doing anything at home, uh, people they say in this uh, time 14, 41, Hijri, 2020, and we are in May, and we know what's going on, how to clean yourself, how to keep yourself safe. Allahumma subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla jalalu keep us and the whole ummah safe, and everyone, ya Rabbil Alameen, to Islam. Ameen. Now, face. Look at water from top. How good is all Manaba to Shar all around the hair? The sister got to move a little bit if they got any, yes, hijab or you cover up to here. No, it is all the way that is considered to be the face and the beard. Look what I'm doing, it's called khilal. Hands inside like this. Second time. How much water? Make sure all this been wetted, been washed around the ears. Yeah? All this. Bismillah. <coughs> Excuse me. Then hands. Hand is not from here to the elbow. Let's make sure hands including all the fingers. Still some people doing hands from here and forget about this. No hands all. So look at this. Here. Up and down. So again you wash hands including this. Because this is the fart. This is the obligatory part 
yeah, washing the, the, the hands up to here, the rest was sunnat, the part, because we have fard and we have sunnat. So second time. So you start from the top, going down, and then up again. Make sure you show huh? more, third time. <coughs> Left, you take all the time with the right hand. Let move any, so make sure the water goes inside it, underneath it, yeah. Yeah, remember to do again the same with the hands. Of course, if we get used to, if I get used, I will use only one minute to do it. But I'm, I'm a bit slow, so you all can watch. But doesn't mean that you spend 10, 15 minutes making wudu every day. But every time. Then after this, the second time. Mm -hmm. Are we second time? Yes. Then third time. See how it can be quick? No problem. Huh? Then mashallah, we come to what? Why bend the head? Either like this. Look. Like this. Once. Once, getting back, up to here, getting back, if you have here, here, you are, go the, back here. Yeah, once is fine. Yeah, yeah, three, time is better. For sister, you can make, make part according to Shafi, uh, under your hijab if you cannot do all. Then third time. Then the either with the same water that you use for the hair, head head here, you can use it for the ears. You can do once is fine, but it's more sunna to do three times. So I consider once it's been done, second time is here. Look how I'm doing it. You want? And then this is back. This will go around here. Yeah, and this in the back. So almost no, hoping, no millimeter. No millimeter has been left, but it's been, huh? can you see this? If you make video a little bit bigger, yes, you're done. Three times. MashaAllah. Then we come to what now? A little bit of challenge, and you need to see how I'm doing it. Look how much left. Almost one third. No, no, almost half, yeah? Something. We can make sure how much left. Bismillah. All this left for the feet. Imagine. Oh, subhanallah. So imagine how much I use before I go to wash my feet. That's why use to for Rasulullah sallallahu to have something left over from the mud. Some water left over. And it is said if you drink the leftover of water it means of cure and shifa for your tummy. So I'll use this wash feet, inshallah ta'ala. Bismillah. I understand there was uh, some, these couple of times, uh, being videoed for wudu, tahara, wudu and tahara, etc. Bismillah. So start from the right side, the right foot. Yes, put some water, only a little bit of water. Has not been washed yet. Only a little bit. And then from here, or here is fine. Some mashayikh do this, is okay. Yeah. MashaAllah. Second time now. See nothing left here as well. Yeah. 
If you do this in your toilet, you'll be able to do all this? Not, of course. Yeah, so make a space. I do it if it is not nice weather like this. I do it in the kitchen, in the sink. Of course, I won't be able to sit. Yeah, sitting is one of a few sunnas and, and adab in wudu. So I did it twice, the third time. So much water. And up to where? At least up to here. So you cover the, the ankles, but try to a little bit. Abu Hurairah used to do a little bit more. And some Sahaba even more, which is fine. MashaAllah, all this left. Good. Start from the right again of the left foot. So which one is the right? It's a big toe. Some grandchildren, big toe. Okay. Bismillah. It's not one yet. When you say once, means it's all done. Huh? With this, it's better this. Huh? So keep the left hand all the time to clean what's in between, including cleaning your nose, but cleaning your mouth from, uh, from inside with your right hand. Second time. This is the third time. And how much left? You can tell. So you can drink. If you are not fasting, of course. This on three steps. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, bismillah, alhamdulillah, bismillah, alhamdulillah. Shifa means. And then after we do the dua, you look at the, the sky and you say the dua. Huh? Dua of wudu. Don't forget it. What is dua of wudu? You should all know. Say subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa atubu ilaik. Allahumma ij'alni min at-tawbin wa ij'alni min al-mutahhirin. And ila as-samaa'. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.